Now, your local two weather authority forecast. John Mayer joining us now. So happy to have you this Sunday night. Well, I'm glad to be here, of course. <laughs> and it wasn't to... a bad day either. No, no, it wasn't too bad, it's sort of. You know, <laughs> it, it, we got to the point where we're just so used to this heat now, it doesn't phase us anymore. Right. But it, we almost had record highs today. It, it's ridiculous. Late <laughs> October, and we're continuing to see all that heat out there. Does it last into this upcoming work week? Well, maybe a little bit more than we would hope for. But right now, we're continuing to see mostly clear skies here in West Texas, but check out what's right off to our east. You can see a lot of cloud cover out there across the eastern half of the state. We got some rainfall that's developing out around Austin, heading up towards Dallas, Fort Worth, and well, we even saw some of that rain here in the basin, at least just down to the south, down around I-10. A few hours back, uh, around mid to late afternoon, that's when we had a little bit of rain there near Fort Stockton, Balmeray, towards the northern Davis Mountains. That's where we picked up a little bit of light rain but unfortunately, most of us didn't see that activity. And by this point, we can kind of use it out there. I mean, we're starting to see some of those drought conditions coming back into West Texas. You can see some of that here around Midland County, towards Howard County. We're picking up on some of that drought. Nowhere near as bad as it is just off to the east, though. Check this out. Around the Gulf Coast, we're looking at extreme drought that's actually setting in there from Mississippi towards Alabama, Georgia. Thankfully, it's nothing anywhere near that bad here in West Texas, but still, it's been a while since we've really seen any rain out there. Midland, we're going on our third week at this point. We've gone through 15 days without really seeing any rainfall out there. Alpine, a little less. Wink, a big spring. They got some rain over the past week, but most of us haven't seen any rain out there for one to two weeks, and unfortunately, it doesn't really look like we're going to pick up on too much moving into this upcoming work week. In fact, we're going to continue to see mostly clear skies out there, just a little bit of cloud cover towards tomorrow morning, but even that, that clears out once we get towards lunchtime on Monday and then into the afternoon hours, staying mostly clear and dry in this forecast. Plenty more of that sunshine coming around to start us off by the upcoming work week, and really it looks like most of the week we're going to continue to see some overnight clouds and then more of that daytime clearing. This is something that really doesn't stick with us for too long out there, but really our best chance at seeing anything other than sunshine probably going to be Tuesday, Wednesday. That's when we'll see some more cloud cover and, well, at least an outside chance for some of that rain off and on down south of I-10. The higher elevations, Davis, Glass Mountains, that's where we could see some of that rainfall out there. But most of us are just going to be stuck with more of that heat. But one good thing that all of this has brought is some just absolutely gorgeous views out there. This comes from our viewer Taylor up in Seminole. And this is just beautiful. When you get some of that cloud cover in there, the sunset, really just absolutely gorgeous. But, well, if we could see those clouds lead to some rain, we'd be in a much better position. And it's not like we don't have any chances nearby. They're just not quite here. We do have a front that's actually setting up just off to our north, dipping down towards our east and then back up again. And really what this is, this isn't anything that's going to be swinging through, bringing any big changes. It's keeping all the cold air off to the north, though, unfortunately. And it's a big reason why we heated up so much today. We, we actually made it into the upper 80s this afternoon. 88 here in Odessa Midland, 88 up towards Lubbock. It was a little bit cooler off to the east, though, and that's really the shape of that cold front defining that. But we almost hit another record. We were just two degrees off our record high set back in the 1930s. And boy, th this has just been ridiculous over the past week or so with all of that record heat and even near record heat. But at least we're starting to cool down now, dropping down into the lower 70s this evening. And we're going to see some more of those cooler temperatures temperatures overnight. Those nighttime temperatures dropping us down into the 50s across the northern basin. 58 in Andrews, 63 over in Big Spring. Tomorrow afternoon, though, warming back up to more of those low to mid 80s there across the northern basin. Same thing along I-20 as we continue to see some of those cooler overnight temperatures leading to a little bit of heat towards the afternoon. Some of those mid 80s getting up towards 86 in Grand Falls and down into the Davis Mountains just a little bit cooler. Again, they could pick up some of that rainfall 
snowfall. So they're definitely going to see some of those slightly cooler temperatures overnight and into tomorrow. But they're even still in the 80s, too. And keep in mind, this time of year, that is way above average. We should be looking at more like mid-70s here in late October. And unfortunately, just not going to be the case. You see more of those low to mid-80s all throughout the next seven days. Plenty hot out there. Plenty of that sunshine coming into play. Not a lot of big changes, though. You see, we top out at 84, bottom out at 80. We're staying right in that, like, 4-degree range, 4, 5-degree range. Not a whole lot of change over the next seven days. So just get used to it, and uh, hopefully you got that air conditioner working for you every once in a while, too. Hopefully.